Hello everyone, this is Cynthia Wilson with Embracing His Word. Well, my um, video series is in reference to seducing spirits in the last day. So this is my second video. You know, many of us expect to be protected by the Lord. We just assume that God would protect us from seducing spirits, those spirits that want to defile us and contaminate our heart and spirit. And we feel like we don't have to worry about it. But in fact, we do have a job in this area and the Lord is not going to let us off the hook. So there's a warning of, of that abounds in scripture. Let me read that. It is says, he who walks with wise men will be wise, but the companion of fools will suffer harm. That is Proverbs chapter 13, uh, verse 20. So we definitely need to be wise in the in the last days and so oftentimes we have friends family members associations that we love to associate with and sometimes people may invite you to a particular church but that that church um definitely is not rooted in the word of god and that particular church may have false prophets false teachers that is ministering in that church so you need to be very careful about churches that you visit about um different teachers preachers that you sit under to listen to because no, not everybody has your best interests at heart that's where we need to be crying out to god to give us wisdom and making those kinds of decisions when we're urged to uh, attend a particular church that we really don't know very much about or we know about it and we still want to go to it anyway so it's it's kind of dangerous to go to a church and then someone uh, wants to lay hands on you or prophesy to you so we have to be on the lookout and be in a position that we are still protected by the Lord Jesus Christ because we're choosing to obey him and another scripture says in 2 Corinthians 7 1, Therefore, having these promises, beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all defilement of flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. So if you have a, ever attended a particular church or, or it don't even have to be a particular church, someone laid hands on you and they definitely had a spirit that was not truly of God. And ever since that particular uh, incident or event, someone laid hands on you and you've been having some strange um, uh, activities going on in your life. And so you want to get before God and repent, renounce that, and ask God for his deliverance in your life. So the scripture says, see to it that no one takes you captive by philosophy and empty deceit, according to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the world, and not according to Christ. That's Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. So you see in the word of God, Paul is exhorting the church back then, and God is exhorting the church today, that we see to it that no one takes us captured by philosophy and empty deceit. So what does that mean? Paul he knew that only as we are established in the word of God and continuing to grow and mature in the faith, that we will be in a position to recognize, to refute, and to challenge false teachings that arise in this day and time. So Paul, Apostle Paul, he knew the dangers that Christians face from false doctrine, and he knew the only antidote, antidote against being deceived by enticing words and convincing arguments to, is to know Christ to know, to truly know the word of God, that it is the final authority, and to know that Jesus Christ is all that we need in this day and time, and all of which is laid out for our instruction, for our guidance in the word of God. So everyone who intends to please God and make it through to heaven needs knowledge of seducing spirit.
spirits. There are billions of spirit, spirits that have been let loose on the human race already in this final hour. They are working day and night. Seducing spirits trying to influence everyone they can to depart from the true faith in God, the true living word of God. That's their, that is their ultimate goal, is to deceive and to seduce. So uh, the topic that I'm talking to you about, uh, recognizing seducing spirits and abiding in Christ in, this, in these last days, is that something that we must pray about on a regular basis. We need to pray, Lord, protect me from the seducing spirits. And then we must diligently uh, and proactively stay in God's word and obey him and obey the leading of the Holy Spirit. So if you are a Christian, you definitely need to know, Christian or non-Christian, you definitely need to know about seducing spirits. So one of the most profound, profound verses that I really love in the word of God, it says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because you have rejected knowledge. I will reject you from being my priest. And because you have forgotten the law of your God, I will also forget your children. That's Hosea chapter four, verse six. This is the word of God been spoken to the Israelites, God's people. God God is speaking the same thing to us today, that if we reject his knowledge, reject his word, what did God say he would do? I will reject you from being my priest. And because you have forgotten the law of your God, I will forget your children. We don't want God to reject us because we have turned our back on him. But we want to make sure that our election is sure, sure in these last evil days. So we want to really submit to the word of God, submit to the leading of God, and not submit to things that are false and untrue. So the definition of heresy, let's talk a little bit about that. The definition of heresy is a belief or action at odds with what is accepted in the word of God, especially when the behavior is contrary to God's word. You know, the scripture in Jude chapter 1 verse 4 says, For certain people have crept in unnoticed who long ago were designated for this condemnation, ungodly people, who pervert the grace of our God into sensuality and deny our only Master and Lord Jesus Christ. So, we need to be aware of these kinds of scriptures that God is speaking to his people today that the scripture says, for certain people have crept in unnoticed. Where do they come in unnoticed? They come in unnoticed inside the church. They are prevalent in the church. Witches that are disguising themselves as Christians, they, they invade the church. So we as believers today must be rooted in the word of God, making uh, our hearts um, filled with the wisdom of God so that we can recognize that person, God will give you an unction, a revelation from the power of the Holy Spirit, those individuals that's truly not of God. And the definition of occult, the occult from the Latin word occultus, cladestine, hidden, secret, is knowledge of the hidden. Have you ever heard the saying, the devil's in the details? Well, the devil slips in something that is hidden. Mix a little error and a little truth, and you have what is called mixture. Mixture of the false and truth is the working of seducing spirits that work through individuals to deceive you into believing a lie. Lies that will take you down a path of destruction. So I warn you about mixture because the Lord warns about it in Galatians chapter 5 verse 9. Uh, the New Living Translation says this false teaching is like a little, ye little yeast that spreads through the whole batch of dough. So if you put in a little yeast in your dough, what will it do to the dough? It will cause it to rise. So sin 
false doctrine and teachings is like leavened bread. It tastes good and satisfies our hunger for a while, but it's not really healthy for us. And in the right environment, it will spread through an entire church or community, even a whole country as vast as the United States. Look what is going on today. False uh, teachers going around uh, stating that President uh, Biden is not the president and that Trump will soon take his position. So where is that coming from? Is that from a cult? Is that from false teachings? So we have to be aware of such things today. In the sample of measures, someone practicing Christianity and also their tribal religion, such as witchcraft, voodoo, a heresy in the church. Now the scripture says in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1, now the spirit expressly says, expressly says that in the later, later times, some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to the deceitful spirits and teachings of demons. Now that is in 1 Timothy chapter 4, 1. So we don't want to fall prey. We don't want to fall victim to seducing spirits in these last days. So the scripture says, if anyone teaches a different doctrine and does not agree with the sound words of our Lord Jesus Christ and the teaching that accords with godliness, he is popped up with conceit and understands nothing. So right here in the word of God, uh, the apostle lets us know that if anyone teaches a different doctrine, that means any teaching that does not come into agreement with the final authority of God's word. That is false teaching. And that is a false teacher. So we are responsible as, as believers to examine what has been taught to us, to see to it that it truly lines up with the word of God. And Ephesians 6, 11 says, put on the full armor of God so that you may be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. So we have uh, the word of God, everything that we need to stand in these last evil days against seducing spirits, against false teachers, false prophets. God has given us everything in the word of God and we have the Holy Spirit to give us spiritual insight and the gift of discerning of spirits. And the scripture in 1 John 4, 1 says, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. So we have no excuse not to test the spirit, not to examine or what has been taught to us, God has given us everything that we need to stand strong and to be equipped with the full armor of God. Thank you for taking time to listen to this video, uh, part two of Seducing Spirits in the Last Days. If you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe and click the bell so you can get new content. Be blessed and have a wonderful day.